So hello everyone. Uh, today, as discussed, we're going to I'm going to show you how to redesign this simple flyer using Photoshop. Uh, it's quite simple, and we're using some few techniques like uh, create clipping max and also rasterize layer, uh, duplicating uh, shadow and all that. So kindly do follow uh, to make sure you can design the same thing using Photoshop. So for this, uh, you have in your assets this particular model that we're going to use. So the very first thing we're going to do is to remove the background of this particular model or picture. So I'll simply drag my picture into Photoshop. Then uh, come over here to uh, background at the layer section. Click on it to unselect it. Press Ctrl-0 to zoom into the image. Then now uh, come over here to the left hand side uh, you can see here we have the magic one tool that's the tool we're we'll using to remove the background for those of you using older versions of photoshop you wouldn't have this so i'll share a tutorial on how to remove background with older models okay so i'll use this one specifically so i'll right click here choose the magic one to come to select subject click on it then the magic happens. Okay, it's taking this time. Yes, so it's selected. I'll come over here to uh, add layer marks. Click on it. Voila, the background goes away. So use the image this way. So I'll quickly just export this image as a quick PNG so that we can keep its transparency uh, for the flyer that we're going to design. So I'll quickly just. Uh, Export it into my. Let me just put it in, in in pictures folder. Yeah, here, model, so that I can. Yeah, so it's done. So the for the flyer that we are supposed to create, I recommend that you use the A4 sheet as that. So when you come to create new Photoshop document, the A4 sheet is here. You can just click on it without changing anything. So the name here, I'm going to change to uh, assignment. Okay, then click on create. Sorry, press Ctrl zero to zoom in. Then with this particular flyer, the very first things that I recommend that you do is to uh, bring in your ruler so that you can know where the, uh, the text starts and where it ends. So I'll press Ctrl R. Okay, mine is still already here. So I have, if I press Ctrl R, it disappears. So I'll press Ctrl R again so that it comes. Use the move tool, then drag the rule to say here. Okay, then I'm going to start creating my shapes. The very first shapes I'm going to create is those below here, uh, which are just simply rectangles, normal rectangles. So I'll come to the rectangle, the shape tool, right click, choose the rectangle tool, then uh, draw. Click and drag. Don't worry about my rectangle, which looks a little bit kef, uh, because I'm using, uh, I've done some tricks in and out. But if you have this, quickly come to the right hand side of the properties section and at the radius, just send it to zero. Then click anywhere here, then it becomes a normal rectangle. Okay. For this, we are using, uh, the fill should be yellow. I've already chosen the shade of yellow I'm going to use, so it should be this. Uh, and also the stroke, no stroke at all. Okay, then afterwards I'll press Ctrl T uh, to reduce the size a little bit. Ctrl T. Make sure this ribbon here is uh, unchecked so that you can actually distort the rectangle a little bit. This one here. So I'll reduce the size a little bit. Yeah, this should be okay. Press enter. Then afterwards, all we do is to duplicate. So I'll press Ctrl J, drag on top, say here. Then I'll press Ctrl T to resize it. Always make sure this ribbon here is unchecked. Then drag down here. Yeah, reduce to this side. I think it's okay. Just like uh, what you have in this flyer. It's cool. Then afterwards, we press Ctrl G on that same rectangle, the one on top, and drag on top. Yes. Then we we'll press Ctrl G again, drag on top. 
Okay, now you notice that the one we have here is quite small, so we're going to reduce the one on top just the size a little bit. So I'll press Ctrl T with that particular layer selected, press Ctrl T, then reduce the size a little bit. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is to draw the small, small circles, the ellipse around here, which is quite, actually quite easy if you use duplicates. Uh, so we're gonna just we're not going to draw them one after that. We're just going to use duplicate to achieve that really fast. So I'll come to the uh, the the tool section, right click on the tools, the shapes, click on the ellipse tool, make sure none of my layers are selected, then choose a particular point and draw a small circle by holding shift and dragging. Ah, I think this should be okay. Make sure the fill is same color as we use for the rectangle and there's no stroke as well. Then does it. Now I'll bring a rule, drag it here to make sure that uh, it's here so that at least my shapes, my circles can begin here as the rectangle starts. Now all we're going to do is something similar to the first one. We're going to duplicate. So press Ctrl J, duplicate, move. Use the arrow on your keyboard to move. Control G on that same one. Oops. Control G on that same one. Use the arrow to move a little bit. Control G. Select the next one. Control G. Then move a little bit. Okay. Then after us, what we're going to do is to group all these shapes that we're going to we've created. So there are four circles. We don't want to uh kind of draw them again so we're simply going to group them so i'll come to the layer section here uh the ellipse one copy three is selected and it ends at ellipse one so i'll make sure that is selected then come to this ellipse one hold shift and click ellipse one everything is selected now I'll press ctrl g to make sure it is grouped now c uh, you can actually go back in this section of the video so that you can actually get this particular side well. Then I'll press Ctrl J with that group selected on the layer section, Ctrl J to duplicate it. Now you can see group one copy here. Then with, with the group one copy selected, I'll press Ctrl T, then drag this below a little bit here. Mm, not so perfect, but I think that will do. Then uh, the next thing we're going to do is this shape up here, which is a little bit complicated, but I think we can manage. All right. So with that one, I'll click outside the workspace, then uh, choose rectangle. Okay. Then come on top here. Let me see how it looks like. Okay. So it's like uh, we have to use a rule so that we know where it starts. Say here. So come here to where the rule starts and draw. I'm a little bit lucky that my shape is already looks it's already circular. But if yours isn't circular, you know how to change it. Kindly come to the properties section and change it from here. Then after all, I change the fill to yellow. Remember the shade of yellow I'm using then uh, drag it on top let me see how it looks like from the original flyer yeah i think not so bad then uh, afterwards i'll duplicate this again then uh, drag it uh, to see here then i'll press ctrl j on that same one and now I'm going to change the color of that particular one rectangle I just created. Remember the third one I've just created. I'm going to change the color to black. Okay, I'm going to change the color to black. Now watch carefully. After I've changed the color to black, with that one select, I'm going to right click on that particular layer, click on rasterize layer. Now we can edit it. Then afterwards, I'll come to the left hand side, choose the rectangular marquee tool. Let's click on it, then come here, make sure I draw like from the center of this. I'll simply draw this over here. Now watch carefully, with this one drawn over this, 
okay let me shift it a little bit let me go over it again oops that didn't work so what i'm supposed to do is okay it's still selected i'll come over here make sure i go to the middle here draw this over around here use the arrow to to bring it a little bit so that it's it is almost cast it in half then uh afterwards with the layer selected make sure it's on that layer make sure you rasterize it i'll click on delete and that aspect of it will be deleted then afterwards i'll just simply click outside this so that this particular uh shape just like we have in the fly here is created it's not so perfect but we need to move on okay then i'll come and click on the move tool again now the next shape we are to create is this particular uh curved rectangle over the uh, model here so i will simply draw that one which is so easy to do make sure you click left click outside the uh workspace in order to do that so i click on the shape uh click on the choose rectangle tool change the fill to yellow just like what i use for all then uh I'll simply come and draw it over it. But let me see how it looks like from the original fly. Okay, it touches the end. So I'll come here. Let's see, here should be fine. Then I'll draw around it this way. Let me look at our fly again. Yeah, this should be okay. This should be okay. But now you notice that down here, uh, for our original flyer, down here is flat but then what we have, we've drawn here down here is it's kind of circular so we have to change it and to change it with this particular layer still selected just the way it is when you come here you see at the, at the property section you see here the radius just here 552 px and all that now i'm going to make sure this side original what we usually do is we simply just change your zero and to affect everything here. But now I'll press Ctrl Z to see. Now we're just going to change those below here so that it to be like a normal rectangle. So I'll make sure I take this. Uh, is it ribbon or something? It looks like it. And take it. Then uh, come below here to this 552, change it to zero. Then uh, click this one too and change it to zero. Then click anywhere outside here. Then you can see voila it looks like what we have on the original flyer now the next thing we're going to create is this those uh small circular things around here uh, which is quite similar to what we did with this yellow yellow ones here uh, so we're going to use the duplicate function so with this one they're just circular to so let me press ctrl zero to zoom in we'll come here click on the okay oops this is still selected We'll click on the move uh, to click outside the workspace then right click here click on the ellipse tool then draw our small circles okay so i might speed up this section of the video uh, so that you can actually pull it fast but you can pause and uh, see how it's done all right so let's draw okay Three. Duplicate. Okay, this should be okay. There are about, uh, I think, three of them. Yes. So what we're gonna do is duplicate these three, move them together. But we can group them just like we did for the original ones. So with this one selected, I'll come down to where does it start? This ellipse. Let me click here. Okay, I think there's one that is not needed. Probably this. I'm deleted it. Okay, which one? This one, which is not needed. We did one twice. Yeah, this one is not needed. So I'll just simply delete it. So I'll come, make sure this is selected. Come, uh, hold shift and click down here. Then afterwards, I'll press Ctrl G to group them. Then I'll duplicate the group. By pressing Ctrl J, then I'll with the group still selected, I'll press Ctrl T. Then I can drag down. 
I think here it should be okay. Let me see how it looks like in the flyer. About four times. So we'll do the same thing. Control J. With that selector, Control J. Uh, sorry, Control Control Z to undo. So Control J, then Control T. Drag below. Control J again. Did it work? No. Control J. Okay. Then let's click on the move to. Click on it again. Control J. Yeah, works. Then press Control T to drag a little bit down. Okay. Then I'll click outside here to make sure that it's unchecked. Then uh, we need other ones over here. So now with those four selected, I'll just with this group two copy three uh, selected, simply hold shift, come to group two, click on it, and press control G to group everything into one group. Yes. Now you can rename it to uh, gray circles. When you double click on it, you can rename to gray circle. Then I'll duplicate gray circle again. Then press Ctrl T. Then uh, I can drag it like this. Let me use the arrow keys to bring it down a little bit. Yes. So this should be okay. You can change the color as you want, but I'm going to just maintain it this way. Yeah, for some reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, is that all? I think if I look at the shapes, the next shape we have is those shapes over here, which is a little bit quite difficult to do, but I don't know. I'm torn between. I can simply use uh, triangles for this particular tutorial. So we just create a shape, a triangle shape. We'll come to the shape uh, tool, right, left click, choose a uh, triangle, make sure nothing is selected at the layer side, then draw our triangle. Hold shift so that it doesn't get distorted. Just draw something like this. Then make sure the fill is the yellow and there's no stroke. Let me see how it looks like on the flyer. Then uh, you can bring it down here. Remember, it doesn't have to, it can't be perfect. Then press Ctrl T with that still selected and rotate it a little bit. Minus 26.8. Press Enter. Then Select it again and press Ctrl J to duplicate. Then bring the duplicate one outside a little bit. Then use your arrow keys to move it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is okay. Now, what I can do next is to bring, remember the, uh, the model that we removed the background first. I'm simply going to, where did I save? I saved our pictures. I'm simply going to move it down here. I'll move it here then uh, I'll reduce the size oops this has to be checked over here so that the shape is not distorted I'll click on it move it down reshape it to say this side with this one you can also use clipping max if you want so if with clipping max I'm going to make sure that I click select this shape that is a rectangle tray then bring my model down to okay what was the name of the rectangle was it rectangle three or rectangle one can't quite remember okay let me place it here and click on it again rectangle three okay so i'll make sure i look for it again model and i'm bringing it the top of rank rectangle three so many rectangles maybe you can choose to name them whenever you are doing uh, it should be on top of it then after so I'll right click, then click on create clipping max so that when I resize it, it will be inside that particular rectangle and doesn't come out. So this way it should be okay. Now to our text, which is quite easy. The very that I told you to use the Pessoa brands as your logo. So we simply come here. Where can I find Pessoa brands on my laptop? Uh Pessoa brands, Pessoa brands. The Shiva folder, Pessoa brands. Yeah, there it is. Okay, which one? This level three. So I'll simply just drag it inside here. 
drag it inside here, resize it, resize, press enter, then move it on top here. Mm, here should be okay. Then uh, the next thing is women talk show, but I'm using a man, so right, main talk show, right? So I'll click here, write my text, change the color to yellow. You can simply bring the color picker here to change to yellow. Then uh, the font I'm using is Barlow uh, Bold. Well, you change the bold to black. But in your instructions, I told you to use Rubik, so you can still use Rubik. This is a, a, a very good font that you might consider using in the future. Change the text to men. Uh, press Ctrl T and resize. See here. Okay, you can bring it here. Okay, let me take a look at the flyer. Main talk show should be here. Yeah, should be okay. Then I'll duplicate that. Then uh, I'll type talk show. Talk show. Then uh, okay, I'll bring this here. Uh, this looks weird, so I'm going to change it a little bit so that from the design that we have. Man, then I'll increase the man a little bit. Man talk show this way still doesn't really look good in the eye for me. Let's see, mm, what do you think? You can use something similar, or what do you think about it? So, you can also play around it, but there's no time for the purpose of this tutorial. I can just use this. Then I'll come to the shape tool, right click, make sure I have to just click on outside the workspace, make sure nothing is selected, choose a rectangle tool, then draw it over the main. Remember, I'll simply come and change this, uh, the radius over here so that it becomes a normal uh, rectangle. I'll click here, make sure it is so that the, the aspect ratio doesn't actually change change here to zero so it affects everything here then uh i'll drag the rectangle for below so that it is under the text and the main here then uh, with main selected i can come and change the color of main to black there you go now what I'm going to do is to resize this rectangle. Select it, press Ctrl T, and check this. Then drag to here, drag this to there. Then uh, click on this. Then this still looks pretty ugly to me, but I'm just gonna go by it. Uh, then afterwards, what is left is just the uh, the date, change one eleven. So I'll use today's date, which is 23-12-2021. So 23-12, select on the text to come here. Change the black to bold or medium. Medium should do. 23-12. Then I'll resize it. Oh, it's been distorted. I'll click here. So that the aspect ratio is actually maintained 23 12. Press enter. Let me see how it looks like here. Okay, looks okay. 23 12. Then I'll just duplicate it. Uh, bring this down here. Make sure you pay attention to the alignment. Then I'll write 2021. Then I can, I can drag, I think it should be okay this way. Then afterwards, I'll use this pen tool here. Click on it. Make sure shape is selected here. Make sure fill is not selected. Then stroke, uh, change to black. Then click on the move tool again. Click on the pen tool again and come and simply draw. This is how you draw. I simply click on this line. Then come down here and click another one. 
the stroke is 12.67 that's pretty okay and it's black so i'll click on the move tool to see how it looks like that's pretty okay i make sure that it's selected at the layer section so that i can move it around a little bit yeah i think this way is okay then what's next to write there is 7 pm so remember the deadline for this particular assignment is 8 p.m. So I'm gonna write 8 p.m. there. So I'll just duplicate this. I like to duplicate. Then uh, bring it over here. Then write 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is like 20. Zero zero. Then uh, oops, I'm supposed to use a column, not a semicolon. Okay, this should be okay. Then uh, the PM, I'll duplicate this too. Then uh, PM. Mm, I'll bring it over here, just like that. Player, please pay attention to the alignment. So everything is perfect. Then the next text is uh, 330 Winifred, what, what, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to type that one as well. So is there something else there? No, just that. So I'll click on the text to use the Barlow medium. This time around, I'm going to use bold. So click on bold. Click anywhere here. I think here should do. You know, right. 3309 Winifred 3309 Winifred Winifred Wee some and C Winifred we bow sorry oops bow some is it NC? Yeah so this should be okay space here then uh I'll drag it over here. Is the size okay? Um, probably increase it a little bit. So I increase the size a little bit. Uh, this should be okay. Then I make sure it's properly aligned. Then uh, afterwards we have the Lauren Ipsum, which is a dummy text. So I'll click on the text too. Then click somewhere here. Drag. To create a Larry Ipsum. So, with that one, let's just use medium for the text property. So, I'll change here to oops, medium. Yeah. Then uh, I'll simply drag it over here. Let me see how it looks like in the flyer this way. So, I have to use a proper alignment. So, with that one still selected, I'll come to the two section and click on the paragraph. I'll use this. Uh, yeah, this this would do. And make sure it's properly aligned. Yeah, then this way should be okay. I'll increase it a little bit. So it matches, press enter. So this should be okay. Now we have the YouTube distance, which is I can just duplicate this. I like to duplicate. So bring it down here. Then with this, I'm going to use www. Press our brands. Dot com, which is a real website, by the way. You can visit it to read more about us. Press our brands. Dot com. Simply drag it over here. Okay, let's change the address to somewhere. Um, Google Road. Google Road um, Tamale. Yeah. Space. So Google Road Tamale. Turn this way, it's okay. I'm bringing this text down here a little bit. What else is there? Okay. So I'll press Ctrl zero to see how that looks like. Mm, it looks a little bit different. What's missing? Or what didn't we do? 
I think it has, has to do with the size of uh, the flyer that we use. I mean, the size. Always, so let's try to increase this a little bit. So I press this one here. Choose the model and the rectangle together by le pressing Control and choose the model. Make sure both is selected. Press Control T. Then I'll increase the size here this way. Press Enter. Uh, then I'll change this the rectangle, the radius. I'll change it over here. So let's play with it. Let me change it to 600 and see how it looks like. Uh, 600, 600. And here too, 600. Let's see how it looks like. Um, still not perfect. I'll change it to 700. 700. Okay, so this looks circular enough. So with this one, let's increase the size. So I'll click on the main, uh, click on the rectangle, then uh, colon control, of course, click on the sh talk shoe, then press control T to resize everything. This should be okay. Then uh, I'll press enter. Then of first I can drag this special branch. Let me increase it a little bit. A little bit. This way should be okay. Press enter. The main talk show. Let me incre uh, increase the size again. Select everything. Looks like we did. Press control T so I can move it around a little bit. Uh, press enter. It should be okay. Now I can bring everything down here below a little bit so I can click anywhere here and drag and fill this so everything is selected. Then I'll use the arrow keys to move it down a little bit. Then afterwards I press Ctrl Zero to see how it looks like. Not entirely perfect, just like the what they have here, but it is a design. Okay, we have we still have uh a plus sign here. Let's do that. Let's see how that looks. Uh, uh, let's draw a plus. There's so many ways to draw this. I can use the pen tool, stroke option selected. Then I'll click here. Sorry about the call. Then uh, hold shift so that the line is straight. Then uh, click somewhere here. Then I'll press the move tool. Select outside here, then I'll use press select the pen tool again. This time I'm going to draw a vertical line, so I'll select somewhere here. Uh, then uh, I'll click here. Then uh, I can select and select here. Oh, where is it? I think shape three. Oops. So I make sure that one is selected. Then I can drag it down a little bit to make sure. Not so perfect, but this will do for the purpose of the tutorial. Let me select everything here to bring it up here a little bit. Then uh, there's some little bit cleanup. Yeah, I think this should be okay. Yeah. What I can also do is to reduce the opacity of this so I can select everything you can see the way I'm dragging I click somewhere and drag so it envelopes everything there then I can come use the opacity reduce the opacity a little bit so that it doesn't really show that much 40% she too and there you go uh, our design not so perfect but that's okay things that we didn't actually do here we are supposed normally you should use the same color uh format as the logo so probably we can do that let's just do that real quick i'll click here no i want the ship this rectangle ship change the color to this red here so i'll click this here then use the fill this turn when you bring it here you see it's something like an eyedropper click here and after i press ok then it changes to this the shoe to i'll click here then click on the color uh, then bring the eyedropper, select the same color bring it here. With this, I'll make sure everything is selected. Would that work? Let's try that and see. Mm, everything is selected. Then uh, 
can change it to this. Yeah, it went. The same technique for this. I'll left click somewhere outside here, drag and drop, drag to envelope everything. Then I'll click on fill, change the color to this. This to the same technique. Then I'll change the color to this. Uh, mm, with this one to the same technique. Change the color to red. Then uh, with this two, I can click on this rectangle first and change the color to red. Remember, this particular black we actually rasterize it, so we can actually change the color exactly like we changed the other. So and obviously it's black, so let's leave it as such. So the next unit is this one. I'll click on it, change the color to red. Sorry about the call. Last one, then I'm gonna click here. And change the color to red. Now we have our design match now logo. Simple as that. So please redesign this. And if you're watching on YouTube, kindly uh, comment with what you have designed on YouTube so I can look at it. And if you follow my class for the design masterclass 1.0, you can uh, send it to me via uh, Google Classroom, just like we've discussed. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you have any comments, kindly saying to me and don't mind my wife laughing in the bedroom there and i uh, hope to get amazing designs from all of you thank you and have a great great day night and bye bye and remember to subscribe to the channel have a great great time bye bye